2.7b, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. To do math with mixed numbers, it is easiest to just convert to a fraction. But when you have your answer, you do need to convert it back. Look at this in example one. In example one, we have five and two-fifths plus seven and three-tenths. First, let's change each of these to a mix or a fraction from a mixed number. So first, we have five times five, which is twenty-five, and then we add two. Remember, working in a clockwise fashion. Five times twenty-five, five times five is twenty-five, plus two is twenty-seven. And remember, we never change the denominators. Let's do the same with the second fraction. Ten times seven is seventy, plus three is seventy-three tenths. As you can see, the denominators don't match, so we must find a least common denominator. But these are both small numbers, so we can use mental math to find the least common denominator. We can look at the first multiple of the largest number, which happens to be ten, and it does divide by five, so we know our least common denominator is ten. This means we only have to change one of the fractions, the first one, and we have to multiply both the top and the bottom, or numerator and denominator, by two. This gives us fifty-four tenths, that we're going to add seventy-three tenths to. Now, we must add the numerators, so we get one hundred and twenty-seven tenths. Remember, if you started with a mixed number, you must end with a mixed number, so we need to convert this. To do so, we use long division. Ten goes into twelve once, ten goes into seventeen once, and this leaves a remainder of seven. Remember, the remainder is what becomes our new numerator. So this means my new fractional portion is seven tenths, and the whole number is eleven. So eleven and seven tenths is our answer. Let's look at another example in example two. Here's example two. Remember, it's easy to start by changing both of these into a fraction with multiplying an add in a clockwise fashion. So for the first one, I get three times two is six plus one is seven thirds, but remember it is still negative. Nine times six is fifty-four plus four is fifty-eight. So I have fifty-eight ninths. As you can see, the denominators do not match, so we have to find a least common denominator, which in this case is nine, using mental math. So we change the first one to match. This gives us negative twenty-one ninths plus fifty-eight ninths. When we do negative twenty-one plus fifty-eight, we get thirty-seven ninths, which we then need to change back into a mixed number, seeing as that's what we started with. So nine goes into thirty-seven six times with a remainder of one which means we have six holes and one ninth left. Remember, the denominator never changes. So when you are adding or subtracting mixed numbers, make sure to convert them to a fraction, but then also to convert your answer back. 